In this video, we are going to talk about the important people of the Italian Renaissance. Some of the most important people of the Italian Renaissance are the Medici family. The Medici family are going to come to power in the city-state of Florence. This is a picture of Cosimo de Medici. He's going to be the one to come to power in Florence in 1424. Now the Medici, they ruled the Italian city-state of Florence throughout the entire Renaissance, and they served as major influences on the growth of the Italian Renaissance through their patronage of the arts and humanism. They're going to fund some of the most influential Renaissance artists. Giovanni de' Medici started the Medici Bank, bringing the family to power in Florence. It's not until Giovanni's son, Cosimo de' Medici, until they've gained control of all of Florence and they become the leaders of Florence. The family would then go on to rule for the next 200 years until 1737. Now, the Medici Bank made the family one of the richest in Europe and is the source of all their power. At its peak, the Medici Bank was the largest in Europe. The Medici are the most famous for their patronage of the arts. The Medici supported artists such as Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello, and Leonardo da Vinci. They also supported Galileo Galilei in his scientific efforts. Interesting Medici facts. The Medici family produced four popes of the Catholic Church, and Fernando de Medici was a patron of music and helped to fund the invention of the piano. Renaissance writers. Baldassare Castiglione. Baldassare Castiglione wrote the book The Courier, which said that a Renaissance gentleman or woman should be able to speak of serious subjects as well as amusing ones, have knowledge of Latin and Greek, and be able to write prose as well as poetry. Niccolo Machiavelli. He wrote The Prince. In this, he pretty much describes how people should rule or how men should rule. He says that men are ungrateful, fickle, liars, and deceivers, and these are the characteristics of a good leader. He also says that a ruler must do whatever is necessary to maintain power, and that the end justifies the means. Renaissance Artists Leonardo da Vinci As an artist, Leonardo painted the portrait of The Last Supper and The Mona Lisa. Now, Leonardo was not just an artist. He was also a writer, inventor, architect, engineer, mathematician, musician, and philosopher. He is said to have had a notebook filled with his inventions, and he's said to have created or uh, invented uh, a tank, a submarine, a corkscrew, as well as a flying machine. Michelangelo. Michelangelo sculpted the statue of David. He also painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. This is a picture of the Sistine Chapel. Now, in order to paint this, Michelangelo had to lay on his back for hours upon hours each day and paint very detailed pictures. This is a picture of the statue of David. It was said to be the perfect proportion um, body. Raphael. He painted the School of Athens. And when he painted the School of Athens, he portrayed uh, classical philosophers with philosophers of their time conversing and talking about uh, philosophy. Donato Bramante sculpted St. Peter's Basilica. This is a picture of St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. In the next video, you will learn about what took place during the Northern Renaissance.